When we look at the overall picture, what we see is that ADHD makes up the largest piece of that, with about one in every 10 children in the United States being diagnosed with ADHD. We see that learning disabilities, dyslexia, processing disorders make up another um, 15 to 20 percent, uh, dyslexia being the largest segment of that. And then we look at autism is actually the smallest where it's estimated that it's 1%, but like in South Korea, they thought it was 1%, and then when they did the study, they found out it was actually 3%. So what we see is that um, this all together makes up about uh, somewhere around 15 to 20% of children in the United States that now have a diagnosable disability. That's about one in five. And it seems to be increasing. It's not slowing down or stabilizing. In fact, recent statistics show that these disorders, especially autism, is increasing around 17 to 20 percent per year. And it's increasing at an alarming rate. So this represents around 20 million children right now. And, instead, and contrary to popular belief, most of the experts actually believe that these disorders are actually under-recognized, not over-diagnosed, as many people claim. So there's probably actually more people. Most of these children qualify for schools for special ed services. And so when we look at the numbers, we're talking about, like I said, a roughly 20 million children. But if it's increasing at about 20% per year, that means in five years that'll be double. So that means we're looking at 40 million children. In 10 years, we're looking at doubling again at about 80 million children. And that, if, it's, if it doesn't increase at an accelerated rate, which many people believe. When we look at the costs that are associated with it, that's dramatic. Um, we know that recent government statistics show that the average family of a child with ADHD is spending somewhere around $15,000 a year to maintain that problem with direct and indirect medical costs. We see that families with autistic children can spend around $30,000 on average. Um, and I've seen a wide range. I've seen people that have spent a couple of hundred thousand dollars and people that spend very little. But even if you're only doing medication, that can be a few thousand dollars a year. So we see that for the average family uh, that has a child with a disability, that it can be economically a great burden. In fact, what has been shown is that um, in most families that have a child with a disability, like ADHD, that child is actually their single largest cost. It's more than their mortgage payment. So that's a huge burden on our families. What we also see is that our school systems, when we have a school, a child that qualifies for special ed services, that costs the school district probably somewhere between sixty dollars to $80,000 per child per year. Actually, New Jersey has one of the highest rates in the cost for children with special ed. Some of it is as high as $110,000 per child per year. Now, who pays for that? The taxpayers, right? So not just families with children with disabilities, but everybody bears the burden of that cost. What we also see now, which is alarming because we can't afford this anymore, is we see that special ed services are the first things to be cut in most K through 12 programs across the country. And everywhere I go, I see that these programs are being decimated, that um, they can't keep up with this avalanche of children that, that is being funneled their way, and they're overwhelmed. The uh, teachers are working hard, but they're understaffed, they're underpaid, they don't have the resources, and there's too many children. Um, the OTs, the PTs that are working in the school systems, I hear everywhere I go how overwhelmed they are. I was in Minnesota um, a couple of months ago, and a woman came up to me, she was an OT, she had read my book, she was really great, and she said, you know, uh, I'm in a school system right now where my national organization says I shouldn't have more than 55 cases at a time. I have 75 cases and I have a little room. I have a little closet, literally a closet that they converted into an OT room. And I have the child for an hour a week. What am I gonna do with this child? What, how, am I gonna, how am I gonna keep up with this? I can't do it. So, you know, she was happy that there were other people in the community uh, with the Brain Balance Center coming in that could help share the load. And that's really what we're all about. Uh, we know that healthcare systems are also completely overwhelmed. Doctors have less time to spend with children. Um, and, you know, they're not going to make more effort to understand this. They're just going to prescribe medication. That's it because that's all they really have time and what they're getting paid to do. 
Um, so they're not going to be a solution anytime soon. The education systems are overwhelmed. Parents are giving less resources and less answers, um, and that's where brain balance comes in. Uh, what we believe is that we can make a difference. We believe, as you do, that your children are special and that people may tell you that there's no hope. Um, we have parents that come in that have been told to put their children in institutions. Um, you know, we believe, as you do, that we can do better, that we can get them better, and that we can, we can change them. Um, and we've been doing it. We're not just talking it, we're doing it. We're doing it all over the country, working with thousands of children and thousands of, fam thousands of families. Um, we believe that uh, one organization can make a difference and that, that relationship in your family that's being torn apart by behavioral problems or other issues, that, you know, that relationship is the most sacred of all relationships in the family between the child and their parent. And we want to restore that. We want to give you hope. We know that we can do more. And that's what we're all about. And we've attracted other people that believe what we believe and that are doing the same. And so we show it every day. Um,